If you're living a stress, but heavy, you know, demanding life that's exciting and, you know, overwhelming and you have lots of things going on in the air and juggling lots of balls in the air and it's all great, but you're setting the foundation for what's going to happen when you get in your 50s and 60s and what happens when you go menopausal because what happens is, and please correct me if I'm wrong, of course, that the adrenals are supposed to kick in after the ovaries stop producing the hormones. And if the adrenals are depleted from a life that's too demanding and not enough balance, your adrenals don't have any capacity left and you're gonna get what's known as the dreaded menopausal symptoms that don't have to happen, or at least not as badly. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's 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 in a nutshell. Yeah, that's right. It's a a hormonal issue, and you know the other thing I will add about menopause is that we are so determined to not get old and have to die, and for women, we've put the pressure on you guys to have, you know, perfect boobs, perfect butt, and a flat stomach for your entire life, not Forever. to have thick skin filled lips and everything else so that is a part of our conversation i know we don't have time to slip down Mm -hmm. but when we reach menopause we have given women the impression that you still have to maintain all of those things and your hormones naturally are going to be going in a direction where there's different priorities now of your system namely that you're going to be caring for kids and then grandkids many women not all women and we need to reserve your energy so that you can live longer at the expense of reproduction So there's a reason that the ovaries actually start to slow down because we need to preserve as much of that energy to keep your heart, brain, and adrenals going. Um, But again, if your adrenals are out of whack, then you end up falling flat on your face when you reach menopause. And that's why I like to get people early on in their reproductive years and stay their doctor all the way through. So important. Well, I would love for you to come back on the show to get deeper into menopause because it's a major issue. And, um, you know, it's the second half of life that that instead of creating life, you create things in the world. And to your point that, you know, you're now the wisdom keeper that you need to be around to pass along the wisdom to the to the future generations. I mean, it's a very, very important time of life that's not well respected like it had been in uh, indigenous cultures. So. I'd yeah. love to have you back on the show to talk about we that. We should Anita. totally dive into that. Archetypally, we I would love value it. the maiden. And then as soon as people become mothers, now they're sort of like, you know, whatever stupid words we Asexual. use. Asexual. Yeah, like they're not going to mm-hmm. have sexual beings. Well, actually, it gets richer. The maidens are clueless. The mothers, they get <laughs> sex. The crone, that is your highest sexual uh, potential. Right on. I'm so glad you said that. Research shows that sex is better in your 60s and 70s. Yeah, yeah. How about that? That's awesome. Okay, (laughs) you got to come back on the show. 